in this uh, question 9 as it reads a solid cylinder of mass 50 kg and radius 0.5 meter is free to rotate about the horizontal axis a massless string is wound around the cylinder with one end attached to it and other hanging freely tension in the string required to produce an angular acceleration of 2 revolution per second square and the options for tension is like this in this question you have to calculate the tension we are using the very basic equation torque is equal to I alpha for the sake of simplicity remember that this tension multiplied by radius that will be equal to torque and here for the moment of inertia of cylinder I will be writing mr square by 2 and this angular acceleration alpha so the tension which is required this is mr alpha by 2 this is the expression you have now remember that this angular acceleration the unit which has been given to revolution you have to convert into radian that means it should be multiplied by 2 pi now here the mass has been given 50 kg this radius is given to be 0.5 meter and for alpha do not write 2 rather write 4 pi that might be a kind of mistake you might have done so the overall tension value which you will calculate this will come out to be 157 Newton and for that matter the correct option will be the fourth one so that is the answer to this question number 9 let us discuss the next question now in this uh, question 10 as it uh, reads the ratio of the accelerations for a solid sphere mass m and radius r has been given rolling down an incline of angle theta without slipping and slipping down the incline without rolling is you have to the options which have been given to you they are 5 is to 7 2 is to 3 2 is to 5 and 7 is to 5 now you see in this question you have to find out the ratio of the acceleration in first case without slipping that means it is rolling down so acceleration with rolling that is g sin theta upon icm upon mr square plus 1 this is the acceleration with rolling and without rolling that means it is slipping down so that acceleration is simply g sin theta so all you have to do you have to just calculate the ratio of these two you understand and ultimately this icm that will be 2 by 5 mr square so if you substitute the entire thing you will find this ratio that is coming out to be 5 is to 7 so the correct option for this particular question will be the first one you understand now let us discuss the next question now in this uh, question number 11 it says that a black hole is an object whose gravitational field is so strong that even light cannot escape from it that means the basic definition of black hole has been given now to what approximate radius would earth the mass of the earth has been given have to be compressed to be a black hole you see the basic idea of this question is that the escape speed which you see as under root 2 gm by r the escape speed if it is equal to c that is speed of light then this is the critical situation this will give you the critical value of radius of the earth to become the black hole now if the radius is further lesser then it is a better situation it is confirmed black hole so all in this question you are expected to do you have to just solve this equation here g is universal gravitational constant that is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 m has been given to you approximately 6 into 10 to the power 24 you are not expected to solve this expression exactly rather it is only the order of the radius which you have to calculate that you can calculate from this place r c is nothing but speed of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 if you substitute everything so your correct answer will come out to be approximately 10 to the power minus 2 meter that means you can say almost the size of a grape if the earth becomes the size of a grape then it will become a black hole so that was the answer to question number 11 now let us discuss uh, question number 12 